a very special person in the Bible, all right? He, in fact, is the first human being from this planet Earth to go to heaven. He was the first person to go to heaven. And in fact, he's one of the very few people who are still in heaven. No human being has seen the history of earth like Enoch. He has been there since almost the beginning. Uh, he's just a couple of generations in. Uh, but let's look a little bit about him. Let's see what makes him special. The Bible tells us that Enoch lived for 365 years. Now, kids, you might be reading this and you might be going like this. Whoa, he was about as old as my dad or my grandfather. Uh, no, a little bit older. Um, this might seem like a long time, but this is what's kind of interesting with Enoch. It's very little. Uh, most people that lived in Enoch's day lived a lot longer. They lived almost a thousand years. Um, and so the question is, why in the world did Enoch live so few years compared to the people around him? Well, it's kind of a trick question. Uh, when, I, when the Bible says that he lived 365 years, what that actually should say is Enoch lived on earth for 365 years. Enoch, in fact, is the oldest human being of this planet because he is still alive today. In fact, uh, if, uh, if you go outside today and you wave up into the sky, uh, you'll probably be waving to him because he's, uh, he's up there in heaven uh, and he's watching us right now. Uh, he's watching the earth and, and what is happening, all right? Enoch lived 165 years and that's because he then went to heaven. And, and we can read that in the Bible. So this is what it says, Genesis chapter 5, starting from verse 21. Enoch lived 65 years and begot or had Methuselah. That was his child. After he begot Methuselah, Enoch walked with God for 300 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years and, verse 24, and Enoch walked with God. Notice that it says that twice. And he was not, for God took him. God took him straight up to heaven. Um, some people say that he got so close to God. He got so close walking with God that one day God looked at him and said, you know what? You're a lot closer to my home than we are of your home. So you might as well come home with me. Uh, and that's what happened. God took him straight to his house there in heaven. Um, the, the, the thing that I really want to focus today with you kids is this. Walk with God. That was Enoch's secret. Uh, it, it doesn't talk about what his hair was like or what his clothes was like or what his diet was like or uh, how many times he went to church or prayed. Or What makes Enoch special is that his life was a life of walking with God. And this is the secret. This is what Jesus wants from us. Uh, a lot of times when Jesus spoke with people, you know what Jesus would say? He would say, follow me. Or in other words, walk with me. If you walk with me, you can have the same future that Enoch has. You can be with God in heaven one day. All right, kids? So this is the message I want you guys to remember. Every day you wake up this week and you're like this, Jesus, I want to walk with you today. I want to walk beside you today. All right? So that is the children's story. Let's pray that, that God will answer our prayer, right? So that we can walk with him. God, thank you so much for all the kids, for all the parents, for everyone here that's listening. Lord, help us to be like Enoch, Lord. Help us to follow you, walk with you, pray to you, and just spend time with you and really build a relationship with you. Uh, that's what you want more than anything else, God. And so I pray that we can do that. Help us to walk with you. In Jesus' name. Amen.